What is up everyone, Oscar here with a new video. Before I get into it though, I would like to remind you all to like this video, subscribe and share, and turn on post notifications when I post a new video. And this episode, or this uh, final um, video, will be the finale for my um, Access Technology Tools web series. Um... It's actually a bonus edition, uh, just because, you know, I did give some misinformation on what Braille is, how Louis Braille invented it, so I want to clear that up, along with giving, you know, the history of different Braille displays that I've used since I was a kid to, you know, what is up, uh, what is now modern um, technology, so yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, Braille was... Um, so Louis Braille was born in 1809. Uh, it wasn't the 1900s, like I said, um, in my previous video, it was, uh, early 1800s. And when he was a little boy, uh, he was playing with, uh, his dad's tools and by accident, you know, um, poked his eyes with one of the tools that I got infected or with, uh, got one of his one of the, he one of the tools poked him in one eye. Let me let me rephrase that. One eye, and then I guess it was because of mistreatment or because they they didn't treat it right away. The infection of that eye, you know, extended to to the other eye. Um, and in turn, you know, lost vision in both those eyes. So you know he, as a blind individual, you know. They had um, a raised um, print system, I guess. I, I don't know how to explain that very well. It was like a, a raised raised print. But I guess because he was such a nerd, and I, I literally looked this up, because he, he, he yearned for, you know, reading more books that are, you know, more appealing for his fingers or whatever. You know, he wanted, you know, something to be easy for... for something to be easy for, for blind folks to read. And he came up with, you know, this, this system or code called Braille. And as I explained in my, uh, or if I didn't explain in, in, in my uh, Braille note taker uh, video, I'll explain a little bit about it. So what it is, is that it's a, it's a cell of six dots. Each of those dots, when combined with a a combination of those dots can either form a letter a word a letter or a word depending on what combinations you use and you know that that's how um braille was 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 started now unfortunately and I did research on this because I had a project back in um my training days when I was going through adult training I remember I did research on this little project that ten percent of blind people only know Braille. So think of this: ten percent of the world population are blind. Take that. So ten percent of those blind people. Actually, no. Five to ten percent of that ten percent of people who are blind know Braille. So that's interesting to me, you know, we're a small community to begin with. And only and even a smaller portion of those only know how to read Braille. I just I, I remember when I read that, I was just awestruck. Uh, you know, I I was just I was really shocked. But anyways, you know, that's you know, that's a, a little bit about Braille. And you know, I of course, you know, as I mentioned before, I learned Braille when I was um, five years old when I was in preschool, um, and you know that that it took me three years to to learn Braille. Um, and if you really want, I'm not gonna you know talk here and and say you know how you know why it took me so long to read Braille because you know when I went to this training center, um, you know if you really put your mind to it, you can learn Braille within six to nine months. But you know. It is what it is. I'm not. I'm not here to complain. 
But, you know, when I do talk, when I did talk to, you know, different staff members there, you know, about my history and, you know, they were like, you should have learned Braille <laughs> way quicker than three years. Because, uh, you know, if you go to any of these uh, adjustment to train adjustments to blindness trainings, you know, people, if you really put your mind to it, can learn Braille within, you know, nine months. But anyways, um, you know, so, so it took me three years. Um a little here, a little there, you know, and, um, of course, you know, I, I got a lot of criticism for how I read, read, um, read Braille. Um, if you guys want more info on that, you know, that'll be an episode for No Nonsense in season two, hopefully. Um, we did bring that up, that, uh, that, that may be one of our episodes for season two, we just got to make sure that we got certain guests for that episode. But anyway, um, so, you know, as as the years go by, you know, I obviously learned Spanish Braille on my own um, with helps of, of, of different books. But, you know, that's, you know, the some people, you know, just to let you guys know that Braille is not a language. I'll repeat, Braille is not a language. Braille, we, we, as a blind community, like to think Braille as a code. It's more of a code because, you know, Braille is, you know, tra- can, can, you know, be produced, and I think in, in many, many, lang- in dozens of languages, you know, I know Spanish, you know, and I, and I know how to read Spanish Braille, you know, there's English as well, you know, you just, um, there's, uh, you know, a different code for, you know, English, Spanish, Arabic, Chinese, you know, I saw others in, in, in some research that I was doing, but, you know, Braille is more of a code system than it is a language, you know, that's one misconception that people think that Braille is a language, but it is not, it is more of a code. So anyways, so... I'm going to give you guys a little bit of history of different Braille displays or Braille note takers, whatever you like to call them. Um, you know, I remember I did show you on my Braille note taker, uh, Braille note taker video that I spoke a little bit about the slate and stylus, you know, that, that, that's a tool that is used to write Braille. Um, another tool is the Braille machine or Brailler as we like to call them. Um, and what that is, is think of a typewriter, a big old heavy typewriter. Oh man, I remember when I had to carry that every single day for the, for like a long time. I remember I had to carry that when I was seven, when I was in second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, all the way up to seventh grade, maybe parts of eighth grade, because I didn't know how to write certain things with, with you know, with the, the technology that was provided at the school. But here and there, you know, they would sprinkle me with, you know, the different technology opportunities. You know, they, they introduced me to a Braille and Speak, which is Freedom Scientific, I believe is what it what it was. I think I read up on that just because I remember using the Braille and Speak and I learned how to write with it. I just didn't didn't remember how to. Um, I never learned much much more about it, because again, I wasn't you know I was a little kid, and you know little kids tend to break things, and you know technology for the for the blind. If you if you ask anyone here, you know anyone that's blind, you know how much you know these you know note takers or displays would cost. They cost between. You know, two thousand to six thousand dollars, maybe you know, just give or take. Um, so you know, uh, I learned the the how to use the Braille and speak. You know, to to write little little essays. Um, that is a Freedom Scientific product. Uh, it was. I don't know when they stopped producing producing them. I remember I used them when I was between the ages of 7 to 11, maybe 12, if I'm not mistaken. And then, you know, you know, um, it became obsolete. 
The next up is a Braille, uh, you know, Pac-Man, I think it's called. And that is another Freedom Scientific um, a product. I don't much I don't know much about it. All I know is that, you know, it's another Braille display. You know, you can install JAWS, you know, to, you know, you need JAWS to, for that to work. Again, I don't know much about it. All I, you know, I've seen it. Um, I've never used it. It's just, if you can think of an electronic brailler, you know, that's uh, the best way that I can compare it to. Because, you know, that's what it looked like to me, the, the way that people were showing me how to use it. But uh, that, that's another um, um, note taker or braille display that, you know, I, I'm, I've known, I know about. Uh, another Freedom Scientific. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't know much about, you know, the, the Freedom Scientific ones. I, I try to do as much research as I could. There's just not much on, on these just because I think they're just so outdated, you know. Um, I think the Pac-Mate was made in 2002. So, you know, think about that. That was like, what, 18 years ago? And people don't use them now. So, because it's all about, you know, these, these next up, uh, these next few, you know, note takers. So... As I stated before, um, I used my brailler up to 7th or 8th grade. That's when they started introducing me to the different, you know, you know, braille note takers. And the first one I want to talk about is the braille note taker, bra oh, braille note, sorry, braille note in power. And I remember when I was first introduced to that little thing. Um, and I thought it was just the coolest thing in the world. Um... You know, I was able to um, write up my Word documents, you know, because, you know, something you got to know about, you know, Braille as well is that blind people can learn how to read it, you know, learn how to read it with their fingers. But sighted people need to learn how to write, read it with their eyes. But that's if they're really trained and if they really want the opportunity to learn Braille. So in school... Uh, I had to use, uh, to, to translate my work, I had to use a transcriber or transla um, translator to, to translate, you know, my, my Braille, you know, all my assignments that were written up in Braille to, you know, print. And when the, you know, the technology came, came along, you know, the, the teachers, you know, are like telling me, they're like, okay, I think it's time for you to start learning this, you know, technology because it'll be so more, so much more beneficial you know, the, the Braille Empower would just, you know, all you need to do is write up in the document. Um, we'll give you a thumb drive to, um, so that way your teachers can, uh, you know, put, you know, any Word document on there. You hop on on there, type up the assignment, and, you know, you just give it back to the to the teacher. So I was like, okay. So that's the Braille Note Empower. Um, not much that you can do with the empower then um uh write documents you know check the time just because um that is an older uh model it is made by humanware by the way i forgot to mention that so the braille note empower so the next the first few note takers are the braille note A empower and braille note apex those are all humanware products those are all humanware products and the braille note empower again um, something interesting that I need, that I, that I found curious is that Empower need, needed different, you know, drives or disks. If you wanted to surf the internet, you needed something called like an ethernet disk or a wireless disk or a chip or whatever it's called. Um, that's, that's what I remember when I, I had to use, uh, when I used the Braille Empower from middle school up to the early parts of of high school, um, was using the, the Braille Note Empower, was you, I could not browse the internet with. The next up is Braille Note Apex. Now, I remember when I was introduced to the Braille Note Apex, I remember I was at a youth program, um, same place, VRCBVI, but I was 14, 15 years old, and a fellow student, you know, was, uh, I, you know, I sat down next to that student, you know, um, we got to know each other here and there, you know, we, we, we built a, a strong, you know, uh, friendship. Uh, 
And that person, you know, was, you know, playing around with a brown nut. I'm like, oh, you know, you're playing around with your brown nut? She, and, and she was like, yeah, you know, uh, just, you know, browsing, you know, the book share and all that good stuff. And I'm like, wait, you can do that with the brown nut in power? Because she did state that it was a brown nut. And I was like, you can do that with the brown nut in power? And she was like, no, I don't have the brown nut in power. I'm like, then what brown nut are you using? Because I only know about the brown nut in power. She was like, it's the braille. No. But what I'm using is the Braille Note Apex. And the Braille Note Apex is a much advanced version of the Braille Note Empower. Because all you need for the, you know, the Braille Note Apex now can use, you know, wireless access. You know, as long as you get the Wi-Fi password, you know, you can use the Wi-Fi without a Wi-Fi um, chip or whatever it's called, you know, it had its own little, a much bigger Ethernet port, so that way if you needed an Ethernet cable, you can plug that in, you know, um, the email feature was so much easier to use, uh, you can actually, like, download more books on there as well, it was just, like, the, again, like, the best thing for me to, you know, I was introduced, that, that's, and I remember, I was, like, I fell in love with it, and I, I'm like, I need this device for for anything. I, I, I need it. And, you know, I you know the, I got the Apex, and there's two different versions of, of the Brown Light Apex. There's the QWERTY keyboard, which is the, you know, it's the setup of the laptop. Or there's the regular Perkins, you know, six keys, you know, whatever, you know, if you remember how I, I described the, the Brailler. You know, the six dots on the left side and the six dots on the right side with the space bar in the middle, you know. And since I thought it was a good opportunity to learn, you know, to, to boost up my, my typing speed, you know, I wanted the, the QWERTY keyboard. So, you know, um, the, just, uh, just to re- recap, you know, Braille Note Apex is a much, it's the same, you know, Braille Note. Same thing with the Empower, just more advanced. You know, you just, uh, you could use Wi-Fi much easier. You know, the Ethernet. A lot of things, you know, were faster. So, yeah. The next up are Hims products. And I remember, and this is a running joke with Naeem and, you know, other friends, is when they, you know, talk about Hims, I, and I tell them, I do not, you know, you do not say that company in my presence just because I think that their products are a little lame, even though, you know, now they're kind of um, competitors to humanware. But the next piece of technology that I was introduced to was the Braille, was it? Oh, Braille Sense. That's what it's called. And the Braille Sense, um, so. I don't know how to explain this one as if it's, it has the same, if not a little bit more, a better quality than the Braille Note Apex, even though the Braille Note could do a lot, uh, certain things that, you know, the Braille Sense couldn't do. Like I remember the Braille Sense. Um, so on the Braille Note, you know, if I needed to use it, needed to convert a Word document in, or let me see, a, a TXT, a text file into a Word document or into a doc. Or docs, I could, uh, I could. But with the Braille Sense, the only option you had was Braille format and TXT format, and that's the only thing I didn't like about the Braille Sense. It was just, I didn't like that at all. Like I wanted, if I needed to work, you needed. I wanted to write Word documents, but, um, it wouldn't do that. You know, the email feature was so much easier to use than the Braille, Braille Note Taker. The Wi-Fi quality actually was, you know, Wi-Fi was much faster, much easier as well. But other than, you know, other than that, you know, I, I really didn't like the Braille Sense. I really don't like Hims products in general, even though they're kind of, you know, up to par now with humanware. And that's the only humanware, uh, sorry, Hims, um... Uh, products that I was introduced to. I know that they have the Polaris, I think it's called, uh, amongst others. Uh, I just um, don't know much about them. 
just because, you know, after I left uh, VRC, BVI, and um, high school, you know, my preferred um, note taker was the, or any anything, you know, Braille display products was, was humanware. But then again, again, uh, if you guys want to talk more about HIMS, you know, you guys can. If you guys want to hop on on my channel and talk more about HIMS products, you can as well. But, you know, that's that's all I know about HIMS. Um, so then the next step after Braille Note Apex, you know, the, the, going back to humanware, is now the, the Braille Note, no, not the Braille Note, the Braille, shoot, what's it called? Crap, I'm blanking, give me one second. Oh, Braille Note Touch, that's what it's called. I'm like, I'm blanking here. It's the Braille Note Touch. And, um, this is when, um, human, so Humanware and Android decided to partner up. Um, J I would have to re recheck my, my te text messages. But what Bra the Braille Note Touch is, is the same thing, if you can think of a Braille Note Apex, but also Android, you know, has Android software, implanted in it you know i give me one second guys oh okay but um like that you know um so you know if you can think of the braille note apex but you know with android implanted in, you know android software in in, in that system it's a lot better. I remember I loved the the Braille. Um, crap, I'm blanking on the Braille Note Touch, man. The Braille Note Touch, and then obviously you know now they have the new you know software Braille Note Touch Plus, which is an upgraded version. You know, a upgraded Android software. You know, so it's it has different Google apps. Um, much faster. You know, Wi-Fi is faster. Much more easy to use too. Um, you know, you can use Google apps on there. Uh, you can also install apps because I remember you couldn't install apps on the Apex or n nor on the Apex nor on the, um, uh, nor on the Empower. But, um, you know, I, I loved the, the Braille Note Touch Plus. Um, I don't know. If the Braille Note Touch Plus is now within the school system, um, just because again when I left and when my friend who's also you know a Prince William student you know a graduate from from the school that we graduated from you know Braille Note Apex was you know the preferred technology. I, again, I don't know what they if they updated that yet, but I I should double check and ask. But you know again Braille Note Touch is the you know newest model of the humanware products um so yeah guys that was my you know this is a bonus clip of the braille note or braille note touch um displays uh giving you the, a little bit of history of the braille braille and also the different histories of the braille note or braille displays you know that i use that people use uh, again, if you guys want to talk more about this, uh, again, feel free to leave comments down below. Uh, this is Oscar, guys. Like this video, subscribe, and share. That'll do it for me. I'll see you guys next time.